really don't know what Christmas is all about. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am here with some stocking stuffer ideas. If you watched one of my previous videos, I did just go shopping for a few of stocking stuffer gifts, but I definitely want to get more and I was having a hard time figuring out what I wanted. So I really sat down and tried to think of some great things, some that were not the norm of stocking stuffer ideas. And I came up with a list of 45 things. Some are just like broad statements and I'm going to give examples. So it's a little bit more than 45, but I definitely wanted to share them with you because I know in the past, I've always had a hard time figuring out what to put in my family's stockings. So I have stuff here for him, for her, for young adults or kids. And I even have stuff for babies because we obviously have a newborn baby. And I thought it would be weird if we didn't get her gifts or put anything in her stocking, even though she's only two months old and can't really go through it. We did tell Kale that he could open it for her and he's pretty excited about doing that and showing her what she got for Christmas day. So I figured why not add stuff for babies in here. And I know if Anybody is like my family, my parents and my grandparents and even Trevor's grandparents, they all have a stocking for our kids. Number one, it's pretty simple, but I thought of the AirPod case or some sort of Bluetooth headphone case. Number two is miniature liquor bottles. I don't know why I never thought of this prior, but it would have been a great thing to put into my husband's stockings. Number three is cigars. I know my husband is a cigar fan and I'm sure someone you know is also a fan of cigars. I thought that that was kind of different. I've never really seen people put cigars in a stocking before. Oh, I definitely wanted to include that on this list. Number four, Trevor, if you're watching this, just fast forward like 30 to 35 seconds because I definitely got this for your stocking and I don't want you to know what it is. I got him a rechargeable lighter. I talked to you previously. He is a candle fiend and I'm tired of buying lighters, but I'm also tired of having the lighters out because they're really just not that aesthetically pleasing to look at. So I bought him a really nice, like sleek, rechargeable lighter. And I think it's a great stocking stuffer idea. I picked mine up on Amazon. They're really not that expensive. I don't know if they sell them at stores. I've never personally seen them at a store before but they do have them on Amazon. Number five is a pretty basic stocking stuffer gift, but I'm going to include it anyways. It is gift cards. There are gaming gift cards. Obviously, I think fast food gift cards are a great option to put in the stocking. Of course, you have your store gift cards or just Visa gift cards in general. Number six is craft supplies. If you have a child or someone that you love is big into crafting. There are a million different things that you could put into a stocking, whether it be stickers or just craft accessories for planners. If you have someone that's into planning or bullet journaling, you could actually add a bullet journal or a planner into their stocking. You can put fancy pens, markers, crowns, matte pencils for the kids, paints, crafting scissors. Label makers would be a great option as well. I would really love a label maker. But there is just so many things in the crafting world that would be great in the stocking. So if you have someone who's really into that or is into art, then that would be a great option. Number seven, I just thought of just simply because of my last video, but car accessories or car cleaning supplies. So maybe you know someone who is just new to driving or just got a new car and you kind of want to help them make their car theirs or someone who's really big into cleaning their cars. You could just kind of amp up their supplies, something like that. It's I feel like it's different. I've never really seen people give car accessories or car cleaning supplies in a stocking before. Number eight, I have lip scrubs and lip balm. I think lip scrubs are always a great option. I love lip scrubs and you can either make lip scrubs on your own if you want to make a DIY gift for somebody and put it in their stocking or you can obviously buy lip scrubs pretty much anywhere even on Amazon. Number nine a portable lint roller if you know someone that has pets this is crucial I feel like to just have one in your car that way when you get to some place and you notice that you have your dog hair or cat hair all over you you could just pull it out and give yourself a good rub down and then go to whatever event you're going to. But I always, 
I never realize sometimes until I get out of my car how much dog hair is on my black pants. And so having a portable lint roller is crucial. Number 10 and number 11 kind of go hand in hand. A wireless charger or a power bank are two, I feel like, essential items. Number 12 is a waterproof speaker or a Bluetooth speaker in general. I personally love listening to music when I'm taking a shower or a bath. So having one that just sticks on the shower wall is having a portable Bluetooth speaker I think is great. Number 13 is stainless steel straws or glass straws. I personally love my stainless steel straws but I do see now that they do have glass ones and I think those are really nice as well. I know reusable straws are kind of a big thing right now so that would be a great option to put in the stocking. Also if anyone is like me I hate drinking out of glasses without a straw so having them here, instead of always buying the disposable ones, just having a good set of stainless steel or glass straws. Never seen anybody give nice straws in a stocking before, but I think it'd be a really great gift. Number 14 is books or a Bible. Those are always great options. I know growing up, my dad always had, I believe, a book in his stocking. He was always such a big reader, and I always thought that that was a pretty cool stocking gift. Number 15, I cannot stress enough, is blue light glasses. I know for me, when the pandemic hit and we all lost our jobs, I was at home more and I was pregnant and really could not walk more than 10 to 15 minutes. So I sat in front of a screen a lot and the headaches were very severe. So I ended up buying blue light glasses to see if that would help me and it helped tremendously. If you have a child right now that is doing virtual learning, if it's anything like my son's virtual learning, he was sitting in front of a screen for eight to 10 hours a day. And then obviously he likes to watch TV and play video games. So that was just added screen time to his school time. My son does have an astigmatism, so he has glasses anyway, but we made sure to get him glasses that came with a blue light lens. So if you have a child that's sitting in front of a computer a lot right now, I really just suggest putting blue light glasses in their stocking. You know that there's a ton of options on Amazon and that is where I got mine. Next, just because of the time that we're in, I put reusable mask. If you know someone that is still wearing disposable masks, maybe you could just put one or two cute reusable masks in their stocking. I feel like we're going to be wearing masks for a while, so why not do it in style, you know? 17 and 18 also kind of go hand in hand. I thought of the pop socket and a phone case. If you know someone that's getting a new phone for Christmas, you could put their phone accessories in the stocking. For 19, I put wallet. I think having a really nice monogram wallet would be great as a stocking stuffer or just a new wallet in general. And I feel like this is great for him, her, or even kids. I know my son who is eight, he loves carrying his wallet around with his money that he gets. He actually likes to go to the store and buy his own toys with his own money. And he, I think, just kind of feels like a big man pulling out his wallet and handing the money to the cashier. Next is spa essentials. You really cannot go wrong with this. Bath bombs, bath salts, a jade roller, eye mask or eye creams or face mask and face creams, beard oil for a man. 21 is a magnetic key holder or a magnetic holder in general. I saw this really cute like cloud magnetic key holder. Like I just said, maybe you know someone who is new to driving or just got a new car, or maybe you know someone who is prone to losing their keys. Having that magnetic holder would be a great option to always know where your keys are. You can just have the magnetic holder in your garage to hold like nails or some tools or things like that. There's a variety of options that you can use with the magnetic holder. For 22 is really a broad statement. It is the dollar spot or the dollar store. There is a whole bunch of things that you can just stuff in that stocking for cheap. For kids, it's like heaven central. I know my son loves going to the dollar spot in Target and just like looking at everything and grabbing as much as he can. But they have stuff for young adults and adults too. They have like really nice wine stoppers. They have nice deck of cards. I showed you guys when I went there last time, they have like this yoga mat spray. So if you know someone who's into yoga, you could get them that. They always have some sort of technology or electric type gifts whether it be like earbuds power banks bluetooth speaker number 23 chocolate and candy definitely cannot go wrong with this at the target dollar spot i saw a really cute chocolate reindeer like rudolph reindeer shaped chocolate bars and i thought that they were so cute they would be perfect for stocking stuffers i've actually really never gave chocolate or candy into 
the stockings before, but like what kid or person wouldn't love chocolate or candy in their stocking? 24 is a scalp massager. If you do not have one of these, you should totally get someone in your family one so that you can also use it. They do promote hair growth, but overall they just feel amazing like going across your scalp and they're pretty cheap. 25 is makeup or makeup brushes or just like makeup essentials. You can go to TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls, places like that. They always have great makeup options and makeup accessories for not that much. Number 26, if you don't want to do the typical toothbrushes or toothpaste option, I thought you could do like teeth whitening strips or teeth whitening pen. I do know that they're a little bit more expensive, but I feel like these are something that people really love. Next is just baby items. So I really was like trying to figure out what the heck am I going to put in my baby stocking? She's two months old. Like what do I put in there? But I'm going to put like pacifiers, pacifier clips, wipes. If you know someone that is about to have a baby and you want to just go ahead and get a stocking for the baby, now you could put things that the parents might need in there like burp cloths, bibs, any of the items that I just mentioned before. But I think it'd be a cute idea to go ahead and like pre-buy the baby stocking and just kind of use it as a way to give the parents some of the things that they might need for their baby. You can also put teethers in there, baby food, baby bottles, baby bottle cleaning set, bath items or bath toys or just baby toys in general. A baby stocking can really be anything. I know that I plan on putting like baby eating utensils for when she gets to that baby food stage. We already have those on hand baby plates and bowls and things like that. For 28, gratitude journal or just a journal in general. I know Fire Below, I really like going there to look at their journals. They always have such a great selection of different things. So if you know someone who's big into journaling, Fire Below is a great store. So 29, number 29, I'm really excited about this and I'm definitely going to include it in my family stockings this year, but I was just kind of like thinking about family and then I randomly thought about Easter and something that my grandparents always do when we go over there for Easter after we have our Easter egg hunt they give all the kids and grandkids we get multiple scratch offs and we all just kind of sit there scratching off seeing which family got more money and it's never been like anything major but like Sometimes we end up leaving with $20 on our scratch offs. I thought that would be such a cool thing on Christmas morning to just have these scratch offs that we can do together as a family. So I really like that stocking stuffer idea and I can't wait. I don't know what it is, but like my son is really into them as well. There's just something about kids and scratch offs and maybe I'm a kid at heart and that's why it's so exciting. But it's also something that, you know, my family has done for years, not for Christmas, but I would love to just kind of implement that for us on Christmas morning. 30 is winter essentials. Again, we're getting into those colder months and maybe you need some new winter gear. So putting new hats or beanies, ear warmers, mittens, gloves, scarves, things like that, hand warmers, that would be a great thing to put in the stocking. Essential oils, if you have someone who is big into that. 32 and 33 are kind of similar, but there are portable diffusers, portable air purifiers, and portable humidifiers basically a plug into your car so if you have someone that's big into essential oils getting them a little portable diffuser to put in their car would be great and having a portable humidifier air purifier when you have kids or pets that kind of ride in your car i think that's a great option and it's just kind of something different number 34 is tumblers i feel like you can't go wrong with a great tumbler 35 is definitely for the kids it's just small interactive toys. Legos are a great option. They come in little sets. You can get those. Dolls, doll accessories, action figures, action figure accessories, cars, dinosaurs. I showed you guys what I got. Kale from the dart. He's home now, so I'm kind of like trying to be quiet. In the Target dollar section, they had like these really great build your own cars, build your own helicopters, things like that. I think is perfect for kids to go into the stocking. 36 is jewelry or a watch, I think would be a great gift. Number 37, to go with the jewelry and watch, you could get really nice trinket dishes. Number 38 is the basic toiletries. Again, you have your body wash, your loofahs, your toothbrush, toothpaste, 
whatever traveling if you know someone's traveling soon maybe you could just get them a bunch of traveling toiletry items or you can get them a toiletries case 39 again we're in pandemic season so hand soap is a great option to put in stocking and so is hand sanitizer and because we're doing all the extra washing and hand sanitizing hand cream would also be a great option 40 is video games or if people still watch dvds i know a lot of people are streaming these days but if you know someone who likes to still watch dvds you could put dvds in there as well walmart has like this section of DVD movies that are like $5 and under. And I actually like to really go through those and get some like old time movies from back in my day that I really love. That little section of older movies for much cheaper. 41 is perfume and cologne. Again, can't go wrong with that. 42 is candles. You can obviously get big candles or you can get smaller ones and get the multiples of those. 43 is fitness accessories. This is great if you know someone who's big into fitness or is just getting into fitness. I know that some gyms are closing again because things are kind of getting worse with COVID. So putting fitness accessories in a stocking would be a great option. They have, you know, the fitness bands for legs, for full body, for upper body. You can get them some hand weights. You can get them some sweat towels, a new water bottle, a fitness kind of tracker. They do have these exercise dice that I actually got from my sister one year. I don't remember what occasion it was, but I love them. She got me this set of dice and on each flat side of the dice is a exercise. And then on the other dice is for how long you're going to do it or how many sets and reps you're going to do that exercise for. So that really kind of comes in handy being at home. And it's kind of fun, especially if you're not really motivated like me to work out at home. Having the dice is just kind of like a fun, unique way to get a good workout in. Number 44 is games. Everybody loves games. So good card games or just any kind of game that would fit in a stocking would be great. Number 45, last but not least, this is actually something that I plan on doing for my son. I thought of a funky or just like unique ornament and you can have it kind of hanging out of the stocking. I plan to put it with his stocking tag, but I did tell my son this year that next year he could have his own Christmas tree in his room and he can decorate it however he wants. And so when we were shopping for this Christmas tree's ornaments, he kind of showed me some of the ones that he loved. So I do plan on going back and picking out one of those. I just figured each year I could add a new ornament to his stocking and then the following year he can add that ornament to his Christmas tree. I just think that's kind of different and unique in a way to like kind of keep in that Christmas spirit. I know personally that my son's really excited to have his new tree. He hasn't stopped talking about it since I told him that he could have his own next year. And if you have someone that you know that has their own tree, maybe it be like a food tree or a candy land type tree or a gaming tree or something different like that. I know Hobby Lobby has a ton of unique, and I mean a ton of unique ornaments. You can maybe just add one to someone's stocking and they can kind of add that to their collection. All right, y'all. So that is my list of stocking stuffer ideas. I hope it helped you guys. If you were having trouble figuring out what to put in your family stocking, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I also hope that you all have a great rest of your night and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.